Okay, well, sorry about the technical difficulties, guys. You probably are seeing this on a totally different um, link. But welcome. This is going live. This is now live on the Good Girls Fans, Good Girls Fans Facebook group. I am Chris Fagan. I am a YouTuber here in Houston with a outlet called Talking Through the Media's. And I just wanted to go here, go live, and just talk to you about a show that I have just I've newly become a super fan of. I'm not gonna even lie to you guys. I I was a fan of um, the main actress on Mad Men, and I after becoming extremely jealous over uh, her husband. I uh, I never followed Good Girls in the beginning, but then Rebecca she told me uh, from because we're friends from another group, and she said you got to watch Good Girls. And I'm like oh, I don't know if I'm gonna watch Good Girls. No, you got to watch Good Girls. Maybe I'll watch it. No, you got to watch. All right, I'll, I'll watch it. So I watched it. I binged it on Netflix. Saw season one, and luckily for me, season two came right at the tail end when I finished the first season. So I was able to binge the first two seasons all the way through. And what I've learned is that I love it. I, I think I even like that show even more than Mad Men. So it's it's one it's become one of my favorite shows uh, on there. So this is what is it about Rio? Okay, so okay, let's get over the obvious stuff. All right, yo, okay. So a lot of people say that a lot of you say, you say a lot of different things about him. You say uh, that it's the um, he's sexy. I guess, you know, with the looks, you know, it's the danger. Uh, it's the, uh, it's the, the unknown, the thrill, you know, the way he looks at it, the, the charisma, the chemistry. Uh, there's a, there's a laundry list. There's even a laundry list of why people don't like the uh, real character. Um, is it realistic? Probably. His, uh, those charms or that mystery, that danger would probably work on a lot of people. Uh, they probably wouldn't work on other people. So or we romanticize it all behind the, sc the screen and the safety of our own homes. What about in real life? And feel free, this is where you can comment. I'm going to go back to the other comments on the other link where, where it messed up. Guys, it, it messed up on the original where it was originally supposed to be posted. But here is where you can re-up and you can uh, say what you want to say. Say um, anything about Rio, about the show. I want to speculate as well uh, on future shows. I want to talk about the upcoming season. Season three is about to drop. And I want to get your guys just speculation, your thoughts, comments, concerns. What do you think is going on? Here's an example. I could tell right from the beginning, I knew that Fed was was dirty. It was something about the way the, the setup, the the way the show functions. It only felt that a federal agent with that much of an obsession with Rio with the girls is it, it only made for better storytelling if there was some type of corruption he was built to be a a boy scout throughout the entire season arc to at the very end prove that he was corrupt and i and i remember screaming at the screen i knew it the guy was too no one is that squeaky clean and for him to have such a a laser focus on on just one one of the three girls not even not even um before i before i uh, show my ignorance let me let me pull up the cast real fast if you would indulge me for a second do, 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 do. girls cast and that way i can um to only be focused on beth only focused on beth it, it just seems strange to me you were gonna give ruby and annie a, a pass it did, didn't make any sense to me so I felt like from the very beginning that he was corrupt. How deep does it go? People, a lot. Of, I want to know. So, like I said, comment on this link here that you're watching it on. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on on that because I, I have a lot of theories and I and I only can speculate what you guys think about it. But this is mainly about this just to introduce you to who I am and my outlet. This is talking through the media's. I have a YouTube channel. I have a uh, a blog, and now I'm I've been made one of the admins of the Good Girls Fans Group because I like to do these live commentaries. Now, maybe this might not be the best time of the day. Also, tell me what's a good time in the evening, in the afternoon, what's a better time to do these? Because I want to get your feedback as we speculate into what's going to go on in the upcoming episodes. But Rio, what is, ladies, men, tell me. I can, I can give you my point of view of what I think why he's so appealing. 
to a lot of people. A lot of you saying the same thing. So I'm going to run down some of the comments that you said on the other list and feel free to keep the comments coming on this link as well to just give your quick thoughts. If you're at work, if you can't be on Facebook for too long and you want to throw in a quick little comment here and there, you can say what a lot of people have said, like, yum, he's a snack and all that. That's fine. If you just only want to tell me how delicious the guy looks and how, and, and how he makes you, if you want to just give me a quick little comment, that's fine. But if you have the time just to really peel this onion let's kind of try to get uh some <laughs> something uh, uh deeper than just oh he's a snack because i'm just going to assume you're talking about me so uh let me go back into the other comments so for example uh yo Anna, i don't i'm gonna say the last name uh, wrong i'm gonna try to say it as best as i can can uh kenev cheva uh she said i wonder if it wasn't his looks uh, and voice, LOL. Would he be such a loved character? Obviously, you think that he's good looking. I don't see it. <laughs> I, I, I see what you're talking about. He, he has the, the cheekbone. Like in Hollywood, you know, you got the cheekbones and, you know, the eyebrows on fleek. And he just and he does the people's eyebrow. You know, he does that thing right there. And for some women, I don't know. You guys just, I do declare. I don't know what's going on. But, I, I mean, hey. It reminds me of... You notice how there's people showing their mugshots lately. People are getting arrested, and because they look like like uh, supermodels on their mugshots, they're like set them free. Like this, this guy could be a murderer. Like I don't care. Look how beautiful he is. What? And you know what? Guys are the same way. Oh my gosh, he's so big. Guys are more uh, or worse. You know, it wouldn't matter if it, if they were serial killers, if they were if it was a supermodel, hottie clone. Let she got to go free. I, it, I don't know. It's the way we look at the quote unquote the beautiful people and whatnot it just these these comments are just too funny look at the danger look at the danger let's talk about this ladies that beth has invited into this then to her reality now the flawed thing about beth and the thing that i could not stand about her she was i'm gonna be honest that is my least favorite character all the way to the final episode of season two the season finale of uh season two she was just i love that was one of that was my love to hate you uh character because of the danger that she invited this notion and me and rebecca i think we talked about this before there's the straight up hypocrisy of of, you know, want a cheater, always a cheater. And then you can totally forgive yourself for inviting this level of danger. You're putting yourself at risk. You're putting your husband at risk. More importantly, you put your children at risk because he looks good, because you're attracted. This is the definition of a midlife crisis. So you're inviting this level of danger into your house. Forget the fact that it can ruin your marriage. Forget the fact that you can go to jail. Your children could be physically harmed. I mean, look what happened to your, your husband, quote unquote, uh, even though the ups and the downs, even despite what he did. Now, I'm not forgiving what he did. I'm just thinking out there, typical guy trying to forgive the guy for what he did. I'm not saying that. But two things can I, I know this is just a fiction. I'm probably uh, just I'm taking in this entertainment and I'm cutting it up with my childhood and my uh, my upbringing. And I'm, I'm not, no longer is no longer just entertainment. Right. I'm just spewing my own personal BS on it. But that's my my point about the character. The level of self forgiveness to me is <laughs> just was mind blowing. This man shows up to your house with guns. He's put this gun to your head multiple times. Your children have seen this person. He's attractive. Okay, there are a lot of attractive people out there. <laughs> really? I'm thinking, really? So when I see a comment like that, it just makes me laugh because we're sitting as fans behind the safety of, a, of the screen. Now, a lot of people have experience with, with criminal elements and all that stuff. So maybe a lot of people are just speaking from experience, but from a fan point of view, from that perspective. Late, really, ladies? <laughs> I mean, is he that is he that good looking? Holly, if Holly Berry showed up to my house with that gun and with that intent, sorry, the attract the attraction with no, it's, I wouldn't be like, it's so dangerous. 
No, <laughs> but that's just me. But since we're behind the screen, we're, we're the fourth wall. It's just the TV show. I guess I can understand it. But in reality, come on. No. Uh, and I didn't even finish what Joanna uh, uh, said to say. Uh, love the character. Or is the bad boy character that makes him so likable? What do I do? Good girls. Like if you like it, I love it. That's I understand it. I understand. But <laughs> and I'm already getting the first comment. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. So, <laughs> maybe it's my maybe it's my jealousy that's speaking here. Maybe I'm a little jealous of Rio. OK, you got a lot of wild theories, but OK, but I, I just like come on. Calm down, relax. Okay, hey, relax. Okay, I couldn't. I can't see you. Uh, it, it only comes up for some reason as Facebook uh, user. Do me a favor, guys. Uh, when you're watching this in the future, um, you can type your. Well, you know, what? I'll see. I'll probably see it in the actual post. Hold on, let me see if I can if I can identify it. Julia Martin. <laughs> my, my, I'm sorry, Julia Maria Ortiz. Uh, yeah, and yes. Come, come on, Julia. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, also says. Uh, Julia also, right? I'm, have, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go back and forth because sometimes uh, I can't see the names. Julia also says it's fantasy, yes, and he can get it, he can get it really. It's, it, okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's my jealousy. Okay, I'm just jealous. Okay, good guy like me, I'm like, I come, I come out of uh, uh, I'm 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 safe, you know, we we'll go to the uh, to Applebee's. You know, your hair is like a meadow. I'll treat you nice. And, and then you're like, no, I want the guy over there that's got the gun. And it's going to and it's gonna make me a millionaire. I'm like, but I got this Groupon for Applebee's. And I'm, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose because he's got the cheekbones and he's got the millions of dollars and, and whatnot. So I guess I'm going to lose. Guy, you know, when you have a punchable face like me, when you got a punchable face, Rio is going to win. And I, I guess I'm just jealous. And I can't give you a million. I can't put a million dollars in a storage unit like he can. So I understand. But Julia says, uh, and he can't get it. Uh, reality, I, uh, I have been, uh, I have to to, uh, to tread carefully. I was like, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm squinting because I do wear glasses. I'm sorry. So I'm going to squint a little bit. I have to tread carefully. But he still, <laughs> in reality, I would have to tread carefully. But he still can get it. Real and I want to believe that the some of the actors, the producers, some of the writers have got to be uh, members of this group. And if they've identified themselves out there, that that's, that would be great. I want to get you guys' insight. I'm talking about the talent on the on the show. How do you do that to 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 audience members, especially like me? I've I've done it too. There's some characters out there that it doesn't matter how bad they are, just like Julia says, they can get it right. Um, let me go back. I'm sorry. Let me. I have to go back and forth. Julie also writes again, and just the ha ha, just laughing at me. Was it it's probably because of my punchable face comment? Yeah, just laughing at me. So, of course, you know, it's it's just true. It's probably just my jealousy. But Rio is a, is the type of person to, from from day one. I mean, his first the very first interaction was he was going to kill her, kill Beth. That was just it. He was going to kill her, and if it wasn't for Beth stepping up in the moment which could have been her last moment that he saw something in her but from that moment it wasn't like a oh i, th I think she has something like, no it was i can use this this is logic i don't where the fans are trying to romanticize this with beth the only way it can really end with rio and beth is jail one portraying the other they've all he's all she's already shot him i mean what more i mean that laughing at the end come on that that that, that laugh could go in any way i'm uh i'm gonna bounce it back i'm gonna forgive her Are we i mean this isn't ross and rachel <laughs> here guys she shot him she shot him but of course we're gonna drag it on but let's say they're even i mean you shot my ex-husband you shot my husband i shoot you all right you know Fair enough. That's what I would have said. You know what? Fair enough. Where could it go from there? I mean, is it going to turn him on more? You know, what is he? I mean, you go to you. You shot me like a boss. So you know, let's go get some ice cream. I can only imagine what Rio is planning. 
Uh, let's see. Thank you, Julie. For, and, and everybody else, comment. Comment right here and let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, Julie also uh, writes, uh, uh, Manny uh, Montana is an excellent act. He is. And I'm trying to remember what else I've seen him in. I, I could just easily go to his IDMB page, but I like to try to rack my brain first because I've seen him in a lot of things and, and help me because I don't want to uh, have to you know go to IMDB. But he is a, he is a good actor. I'll say this about the show. Here's something I'll say about the show, because I, I, I don't like watching shows like this where you can tell that, that writers who have no idea what the hell they're talking about are writing for an element they don't know anything about. The people who are writing the dialogue, and maybe it's more the act, Manny's uh, acting ability more than anything else. Bec it's, there's always a cheesiness actor. Now, I grew up in the, uh, when I was born, I mean, I live in a great suburb now here in Woodlands, Texas, but when I was born in the sunny side of Houston, you know, so I, I know how people act. I know how people talk. I know, I've seen a lot of things. I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot of things. So I'm not going to bulge a lot about my past. But it always irks me seeing a show like this and the villain or the criminal element is always overly stereotyped. Their acting ability. You got to be that. You can tell a director is just sitting there and he's got something like these headphones around his neck and he's telling the actor, I need you to be more street. Come on, more street. And the black guy's looking at him like, How do you think that? It? And you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, you know, and just becoming just straight up <laughs> overly prejudiced in his directing, right? And maybe that's happening behind the scenes. Who knows what's happening? But Rio. The actor who's playing him, obviously, uh, is either he's either the show is that well written, or he knows what he's talking about. He's seen a lot, and he knows uh, he knows what he's he's tapping into something that's real, that's there, because the swag that he delivers on camera, the way he slouches, the way he just looks at you, he's he look he's not just looking at you, he's looking into through you. I mean, he's he's constantly studying you that act it's that's 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 more than just method acting that's something where and like i said like i'm new to the show so maybe i don't know maybe you guys have already especially you, you ladies that love him so much you probably already dove into this past and oh yes he he started out with this and now he's that maybe that's his backstory so maybe that's what he's tapping into and maybe that's what he's channeling but that right there if it's 100 percent acting is the best acting I've seen in a long time. He's very good. If it's if he's tapping into something that's real, that's good for the show. And I'm glad that, that he's playing the character because I cannot stand shows where writers that don't know what they're talking about hire actors that don't know how to relate to it are trying to tap into something that they just cannot tap into. And it just comes out as these you know overly stereotypical dialogue where where he's uh he's saying these cheesy things the this slang that hasn't been used since 1997 and in, in you know 2020 you know stuff like that so and i and i'm glad that that's not happening um so his charisma his his character his charisma his his um his stage presence all of that stuff it's it's translated so you you root for a, a possibility. Oh, it's so dangerous. Somebody like, they're like, ooh, ooh, what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen. Somebody's going to get your shot. <laughs> so, and that's what happened. Uh, let me go uh, let me go back real fast and let's see here because I'm getting more comments. Uh, oh, yeah, he's from Long Beach. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Uh, so let, me, uh, let me go back in there again. I'm sorry I have to go back because I, I want to be able to identify who's talking to Julia again. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Manny is an excellent actor. Uh, Grace uh, Graceland uh, Conviction. And oh yeah, he's from Long Beach. Yeah, he knows. So that answers that question. So what else is it about about the what do you th what do you guys think is possible? for a finale of this. Now, I don't want this show, I don't see this show ending and for, for a while. Well, you know what, before we get into that, can I talk for a second about this crossover between Superstore and, uh, and Good Girls? How amazing was that? Now, 
the the funny thing about it was the, it was it was fun a couple of episodes and i think they purposely that's why they got caught that they knew that that was the reason why they introduced it so fast because eventually they got caught we're we're on to what you guys are doing and i sure I, I know the locations are, are different but wouldn't it have been nice to see or did i miss it did we not see anybody any of the actors from superstore come in and um and play uh did i miss that overlook that because i'm looking for i guess i'm looking for the main obviously the main cast would not be there but the fact that they use the same set um to to film that and to and to use that was great i wonder what else through nbc um Brooklyn Nine Nine. Well, it's New York, so you know. Yeah, you know. I'm getting my hopes up. That stuff's not, uh, not going to happen. Uh, before I go b more into the uh, the the Rio thing, let me let me ask. Let me go into uh, Allison Tallman, who plays Joe on Emergence. What is the word on that? Is uh, is that a dual thing she's doing? Because her character is still alive. I was since. I guess since season two was wrapping, and I'm 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 assuming because there's all, there's like a uh, ten to thirteen episodic show, this show could still could get picked up and become a full traditional season, like twenty to uh, twenty plus episode uh, show, and I, I I think it will. That's what I, I thirteen episodes is fine for now. Maybe that's where they only want. I, there's potential. I think the the ratings are obviously there to the, they just they they can justify making stretching it out long, but I feel like it's perfect the way it is, and it probably works good for her as well since she, she's uh, acting on Emergence. Um, but what can happen with that? I mean, now that if Emergence is con is going to continue forward, whether it is or not, there's going to, something's going to happen. Um, with with that character it's hard for me to you know <laughs> appreciate her as a cop in one show <laughs> and, and not like her all that much on good girls and i'm struggling to figure out which character i like more um i think i'm leaning more towards her, her role as joe uh evans on emergence because she's so uh, uh unlikable and uh, it's it's the name of the show is so ironic because these good girls are doing a lot of bad things and they and they just justify it and that's how we all are we we do it and I, you know what and that's probably what rio does now give me let me go back to rio where do you guys think this could go this is like i said it's not ross and rachel here um it's not and, and here julia says mary pats is that her name is that the character's name on uh is that her is that is that Allison's character? Um, she's already shot uh, shot Rio. Beth has. He's not going to forget that. Um, with the FBI agent obviously being crooked, <laughs> which I predict is from since episode one of the second season. Um, what? What does this mean? Does he, does is he now working for the agent? Uh, is this a is this more of is this just to keep Beth under control? Is this the path that he's trying to uh, to take just to get Beth? You already got Rio right there. What is the end game? Or is it going to? I feel like it's going to come out that. As much as we like to believe that Rio is, it, Rio cannot be the end all, say all. He's not the main, the big boss. It's got, you know, Rio has a boss, and it's it's not the agent. No, it can't be. I mean, it's getting up there, but it's watch. It's not gonna. It's gonna turn out. It's not. It's not him. And I'm getting more comments in. Let me see uh, where they're coming from. Uh, let's see. My fact checker, uh, Julia. That's right. Third season uh, started yet? No, it, I think it's in February, and uh, yeah, it's, it's February the sixteenth. Just uh, so I'm, but I, I said, Julia, you're officially the fact checker. I appreciate it. Uh, started. Thank you, and you're welcome. Uh, let's see, Bianca Miller. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. 
So sorry about that. I just I, and the reason why I did that, guys, like I've said again, because I can't see the names as uh, as they're coming in. Because it just says right here, you see, it's just this Facebook user. It won't tell me your name for some strange reason. What's your take on Dean? You think uh, he should uh, be forgiven after the cheating and uh, faking cancer? <laughs> you guys are not going to like my answer. <laughs> you guys are not going to like my answer. <laughs> Is it, does it, you know, speaking of Dean, doesn't Rio just have the nicest cheekbones and the cutest little neck tattoo? Look, you're not, you're not going to like my answer. Forgiven, uh, that's up to Beth. That's her. That, that's up to Beth. Uh, I had a long conversation <laughs> uh, with, who asked me that question? I'm sorry. Let me go back again. You know what? Let me put this sc double screen on screen thing because I'm messing up. Um, I'm messing up not doing that. Um, I need to have both screens up at the same time. Do I think they could, they need to forgive Dean? Dean, do, <laughs> do I forgive you, Dean? Uh, do you, what do you think? I mean, I, I mean, is the character forgivable? I mean, it's up to Beth. I mean, that's their marriage. Um, now, like I said, if you want to, I'm moving my ketchup out a lot the way because I was eating breakfast, you know, ketchup on eggs. Mm. No, I'm just joking. A lot of people don't like ketchup on eggs. I don't mind it. It's not that bad. Um, Dean, look, Dean. <laughs> I'm stalling. I'm stalling for time, honestly, because I'm trying to get my um, my comments. Uh, OK, who wrote that? Let me get let me get this uh, going here. I'm sorry. Dean is is trying now. That was Rebecca. He well, he was always trying. He he, Dean was trying from day one. Uh, after he was caught, Dean played that role of the typical guy. You're sorry. You you're sorry now. Yeah, I bet you are sorry. You sorry, you know, because you got caught. Yes, you damn you're, you're damn right. I'm sorry because I got caught. Is what. Let me let me play Dean for a second. And it's hard for me not to see him as the dude from Scream, you know. It's a scream um, because he's still that dude. You can you can still to, uh, see it uh, the way he, in the way he acts and the way he plays Dean. Um, he was he wasn't sorry while he was doing it. He wasn't trying to. He was trying to have his cake and eat it too. What was interesting towards the end of the second season was when he started to give his reasons. I noticed this is something I say. I said this to my ex. I've said this to myself. You know, I, I don't care about your damn excuses because we all got. them. But I will never, ever dismiss people's reasons. It doesn't have to be a good reason. It's not going to be a reason that's going to give you send you on a path of forgiveness. Not necessarily it depends on the person, it depends on what you did. But I'll always accept it. Everybody has their reasons, your, your childhood, your development. He's a sex addict, all that, whatever you want to call it. Right. He's an adult, but he's ta he's taking at least in his road to redemption. And I don't even call it, it's like he's on an exodus. He's Dean's character is uh, what was that Greek character that was that was cursed to push the boulder up the mountaintop just to have it roll down again over. That's who Dean is. It's never going to work out for Dean. I'm surprised he didn't die after the shot. Now, it could have gone either way. He is constantly going to roll that boulder up and it's going to constantly keep coming down and he's going to repeat the pattern over and over again. It's that's that's Dean's role. He's never going to be more than that. So whether the writers decide to to totally for, he'll be forgiven and then he'll find a way to mess it up. Look what happened when he when he got into um, that car accident. His plan worked. Oh, I tricked her. I got the uh, I got the uh, the cancer uh, trick. It tricked her. And then what happened? He was feeling himself. He's feeling invincible. So I can uh, now that I'm I'm heading home to you know reacquaint with my wife. Let me check out this hot babe who's jogging and boom, stop sign missing. And who? Where did what? What happened to that? Did they ever answer that question? That stop sign? I first I thought Beth did it. <laughs> and then she was the one who was more upset about it. So I don't know what what was going on with that stuff. So I guess it was kids. Maybe maybe it was maybe it was Rio. I maybe Rio took that stop sign. Who knows? But but to do something like that and to, to predict Dean would be the one to get into a car wreck, uh, unless the person who hit Dean 
did it on purpose and it was a setup. Who knows? It could go. There's little things that could come back. I feel like in a season four, season five, way down the line is probably where these questions are going to be answered, really, and come back in, in reality. Can Dean be forgiven? That's yes. Can Dean be what you're actually asking is, can Dean be forgiven by us? Can we forgive him? And that's a, that's a case by case basis. We're all going to take his actions and we're going to just we're going to take that information. We're going to all going to get sucked up into our, our, our childhood and our upbringing and our our, our our experiences with good and bad relationships and our, our morals and ethics. And then, then we're going to spit it out in the way we see it. Um, Dean had a reason, has his reasons for doing what he did. He doesn't have an excuse. Um. Beth is a beautiful woman. Beth is actually smart. Dean started. Uh, Dean showed his ass in the very beginning. He's he was a jerk. He was an ass. He's uh, sexist. He's chauvinist. He was belittling. He he was proud. Uh, he was old fashioned. Um, I have to be the breadwinner. And when even when I'm failing, I have to. You know, I can't let you see that it's failed. This is not a team. This is the team of Dean. These are not characteristics that are very forgivable or easy to forgive. He has a reason. You, you can look into it. We can look into Dean's upbringing and probably forgive him on a lot of things. But for now, we're only seeing the bad stuff and we see what he's trying to do. He's going to roll that boulder up the hill and it's just going to keep so it's just going to keep falling down. So that's Dean. Um, now. Let, now I said. Now that I said that, let me now is only speaking for me. And I had a conversation with Rebecca about this. <laughs> this is just me. I'm not speaking for. I'm not speaking for all guys. Don't blog, and I'm not speaking for everybody in the group because I know you guys aren't going to agree with me. Beth is worse to me than Dean is. Everything that Dean did was despicable and disgusting. And I'm not bro coding him and protecting him under the bro code. If, if Dean's shit was going to mess up with my relationship here in my house, bye, Dean. <laughs> Get out of, don't bring that drama into my house. Uh, but Beth is worse because everything that Dean is, uh, did, as despicable as it was, uh, I mean, it's gonna, it would mess up the kids. Um, um, heads, it would um, hurt their feelings. You betrayed our mom. It hurts his the, uh, his wife. Does, you know, anything could happen. Um, you introduce all kinds of dangerous things into the relationship. We know the typical stuff. Um, but unless one of these girls that uh, umpteenth girls that he's uh, and the chances are there, the umpteenth girls that he slept with went glint close with a rabbit to boil, uh, or did the whole uh, hand that rocks the cradle thing. That didn't, none of that happened. But Beth is introducing not only a straight up thug gangster that, and that tried to, that, that threatened to kill her so many times and hurt his family. The dude actually pulled the trigger and attempted to kill her husband. That could have easily have been her son uh, and a daughter. It could have easily been the kids, all or all of them. So as much as I don't condone Dean's actions and I'm not excusing it, and like I said, don't bring, don't try to break up a happy home over here, Dean. You gotta, go, you can't sleep on my couch. If <laughs> let Dean, let Dean get his lawyer, his divorce lawyer, and let her get her divorce lawyer, and let the whole truth come out. Now I live in the state of Texas, <laughs> and I don't know how the the laws are over there in the state that they live in but <laughs> adultery and crime syndicate i think dean's gonna win <laughs> that fight and I was like, I'm, it's not even close it's not even close but he cheated on me okay <laughs> the guy now I said this is I'm just speaking for myself. If I was the judge, I'm sorry. I just don't see it as and, and we all know this. I mean, and you guys, you guys know this. But this is just how we are we are. But I, I still root for because of the in the in the <laughs> let me try to dial it back now because I love the show and I don't want the show to stop. These are the things that I didn't like about Beth. 
of that, that type of a character because in my reality, I don't like people like that in reality. Now, I can be a jerk, I can be uh, mean, and I can do very bad things. But I'm a man that doesn't try to get out of his come up. And you, you, yeah, you got to have 100% evidence against me that I robbed that bank or something like that. You have to have me on camera before I confess. But the second I'm caught, I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't know, it could be a deep fake. No, you got me. You know, be an adult. But a character like Beth is struggling with reality. I'm doing this because you cheated on me. I'm doing this because you gave away all or you lost all of, our, all of our money. I'm doing this to provide for the family. You've already made money off of this stuff. The whole I'm doing this because excuse was gone like about around episode five or six in the first season. You're doing it because you're addicted to it. Just as Dean is addicted to sex, you are addicted to the thrill. Because you've had so many chances to walk away from it. And you volunteered, not just only for yourself, but for your family, your children, and your girlfriends. You've, you've made the decision for everyone else to keep putting yourselves in this dangerous world. The one thing I love about this show is that it's not doing it the way. The, these are the same things that were great about that TV show Weeds. It reminds me of Weeds. Remember that show? It reminds me of the first two, two and a half seasons of Weeds. And then that show just got total, as ridiculous as it was, and it was supposed to be. It's, it's, it's I was like, I don't, even, even a woman that looks like that in America, and what it, it, you're not gonna, it just, this was just totally unbelievable. Now, Girl, good girls is starting to me to thread that needle very, very finely. I still can believe that they can get away with it a little bit. It's ridiculous, of course. Of course, they probably would have gone to jail a long time ago. But they're doing such a good job of making it believable enough and very entertaining. And and I just feel like this the their formula is so perfect. Uh, because I didn't expect Rio to get shot. I didn't expect uh, the the agent to reveal his hand as quickly as he did, the way he did. I suspect, I, I, I had a feeling, but I didn't think it was going to go down there. It's still able to shock me. Nothing in Weeds was shocking me anymore. It was just being ridiculous. This show is still like, oh my, it's mind blowing. And it's funny as hell. And it's entertaining. And I'm sorry. And I, and I went on that for a long time. Did any of that make sense? My, my whole thing about Beth, is that and Dean is that they both live in this fantasy world that their actions can be justified because they're the one to justify. But outside looking in, like you're a horrible person. That the the FBI, the agent was right is one hundred percent right. This is a bad person now. She's crossed too many lines, and she likes it. But the difference is she likes it. But it makes great it makes great TV. How long can she get she get away with this? Is the question. All right, let me. I'm sorry, I've been overlooking some of these uh, comments that are coming in, and let's see what uh, what I missed here. Uh, da, 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 here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Has the third season started yet? No. This is this is what we've already. Uh, Team Beth. Team Beth. All right, let's talk about Team Beth. Okay, you're on Team Beth. Why? <laughs> because. Is it because her actions are justified because of what Dean did? Or because she's getting results and being a boss? Because Child Protective Services would have a different answer <laughs> of all this. Because Dean said a lot of things that are 100% true. As much as he messed up and, and he's the, the secrets that he kept, you know, I lost the money and I, I kept that from you. The house could have been foreclosed on and Dean wouldn't have told the truth until the, the day that sign was put on that door. Well, what had happened was and they're all getting packed at the, the deputies kicking them out. That's what Dean would have did. Uh, but. Does that. That justified the level of danger that Beth has put them all in. Dean got shot in the near the heart. 
<laughs> he deserved it. I don't know. Uh, that's that's up. To, I guess that's going to be up to each and every uh, uh, body. Here's uh, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, uh, let me skip the Rebecca. For some reason, it's telling it's showing me Rebecca's name, but it's not showing me everybody else's name. Why? Maybe it's because she's an admin. I wonder if that's why. Uh, she reminds me of Walter White. Yes, she does. The way because it's it's very smart the way it's being written, the way um, the way it's being written. Uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, of of Breaking Bad. Um, so I would have to look and see if those are if there's some of the uh, actors. I mean, some of the writers uh, from that. Uh, let's see what's this it's right here because I don't because I'm about to go to the next one. It doesn't give me a name. You're, uh, you're good again. <laughs> it's probably Julia. Probably my fact checker said that. <laughs> uh, uh, but I don't. I can't. I can't see the name uh, of who wrote that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Deborah says, uh, bulletproof vests, blood tablets, just silly in a way. For when, for when Rio got shot. Bulletproof vests. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't think of that because that wouldn't be the first time that he tested her. It wouldn't be even be the first time that he gave her a gun, and uh, and that was Deborah Randall who uh, wrote that. Gave her a gun and she drew it on him. She already knew better to to feel the weight of the bullets and to know if it was if it was empty or not. Bulletproof vest and blood tablets. Probably, but then on Rio's point, that would be that was a hell of a convincing performance. But at the same time, she's never shot anyone before, so how would she really know, right? Well, who was the person who shot the guy in the foot? Doesn't count. Maybe I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think that's probably what they were gonna write into the show, because maybe the Fed and him were working together the whole time. Maybe. Are you an FBI agent? <laughs> is it because is it because why well, did I did I was I defending the agent uh, uh, to uh, to a female body inspector? Maybe um, who wrote that? That's funny. Are you the FBI agent? It's not. It's funny because uh, my fifteen minutes. No, this I'm in the wrong thing here. It's not telling me you guys' uh, name. And I, again, I apologize for that. Ever, uh, I hope so. And I wonder if that was talking about the, the blood tablets. Let me go back into the comments again here because it's not telling me uh, the names. Let's see, Deborah, Deborah, I hope so. I'm sorry, guys, it's not, it's not allowing me to, there we go, I think, that's, I think that's it, here we go. Is it allowing me to click on the, the comments? No. They say Rio says Elizabeth, Elizabeth. It's not allowing me to click on the comments, so I'm not going to be able to see everybody's name. I apologize for that. Uh, I got a few minutes left, and uh, but I'm going to keep going with it. Uh, Rebecca, uh, yes, because it's revenge and Dean sucks. Yes, because it's revenge and Dean sucks. What's revenge? That everything that she's doing to earn? If everything that she's doing is all motivated by what Dean did, then it's not balanced because, yeah, what Dean did sucked. Divorce him. Uh, think th Dean is the one who filed for the divorce. Um, when you put what Dean knows, Dean has to either get in line or die because when if Beth continues on the path that she's on, Dean's, Dean is a liability. Um, and I'm waiting for that shoe to drop. Uh, let's see. Because she's getting uh, it's done. Yeah. At, but at whose expense? Her children's safety. Her freedom. 
her friend's freedom, the risk of them snitching. Uh, one of them is going, to, uh, I mean, look how close it came to one of them uh, collaborating with the uh, the feds and, and taking it all down. Um. I mean, I'm just throwing reality into this. We all know if this was happening in real life, the way they're doing it, it probably would have been only a one season thing. But it's a TV show, so it's going to keep going forever. She's going to slip through the cracks. by They're going to figure some loophole out. right? Sorry about that. Um, she's getting it done, though. That's true. But Rio might eventually see her as a, a threat. She's becoming too... It, it only take, took two seasons for her to be confident enough to not only try to overthrow Rio in his own game and his own operation, but then to kill him. She is now too much of a liability. She's getting this done and she's she's taking them to a I feel like in, a, in one of these seasons, Rio is going to be is going Rio is going to give us the uh, uh, the illusion that he is answering to her, to Beth, and Beth to and the worst thing in these situations that you can do is have all that hubris and think that you're um, untouchable. You're not you're no longer looking uh, you know over your shoulder. You're no longer ca uh, cautious because you think you've reached a mountaintop. That's the worst thing that could happen to Beth to feel that way because Rio is smarter. As far as street smarts, is smarter than her, and uh, but she's getting there. She's getting there. A couple of more seasons, <laughs> she's getting there. Uh, let's see, and and let's see, let's see. Uh, you have ideas as a mom. Uh, what's your capability of immunity? You you pushed to the end, and he pushed her. You have uh, you have idea as a mom what you're capable of immunity uh immune to until maybe it was that supposed to be until you're pushed until you're pushed to the end and he pushed her i mean, i guess we're talking about dean and beth yeah but he yeah he pushed her but it's okay this is okay this is my analogy of that of that comment yeah he pushed her but the option of where to fall was a hundred percent on Beth. Dean pushed her in, in that and in that into this direction, divorce. And she saw divorce and went, uh, criminal. Boom. And she fell that way. <laughs> then went that way. <laughs> she did that on her own. The push was there. Yes, I agree. But the fall where she landed was 100% her doing. So she doesn't get a pass for that. Not for me. At least. Uh, let's see. Next. Um, it's still me. And I'm sorry. Uh, it's still Julia. I'm, I'm assuming that's Julia. I'm sorry. I can't. For some reason, it's not showing me. You sound like. Yes, yeah, sounds like Turner. It's not. It's not letting me see the uh, the names for some reason. Let me refresh the page and see if I can get that back. Uh, I'm gonna move to the next one at at Deborah. I hope so. And I guess now people are ident identifying themselves. Ruby, and yes, uh, sounds like time. Let me see if I can, because uh, I want to acknowledge you guys. Uh, Julia, yeah, saying yes, it's me, uh, Ruby. Julia, Julia, my fact checker, uh, Julie. <laughs> But for some reason, it's not letting me see uh, go down to all of them. So it's probably it's probably glitching. It's probably going to start sputtering out. I know you guys don't have all the time in the world to sit down and talk with me. I'm glad that I got some interaction with um, with some of you um, as we talked about Dean. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. As we talk about uh, what do you, as we talk, Dean. Look, let's let's go back to uh, Rio real fast. Dean is <laughs> things are not square between or balanced between. Um, Dean and Rio. Now, what Dean did to Beth is one thing. What Rio did to to Dean because of Beth is another. Now, Dean can have all the blinders in the world and he's just trying by hook or by crook trying to get Beth back or keep her or whatnot or still be in love with her. That's that's his problem. That's fine with me. But it is not balanced, nor was it a romantic gesture. Uh, for what, <laughs> what when 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 Rio almost killed him. Now he's a jerk. He did that. He did that to Beth. Rio 
pulled the trigger, though. Dean was tied up by some guys and Beth was more concerned about the money more than his life. How many signs that she does not she's not she's not into you anymore do you need? And he has his reasons, whatever, you know, you how you we we haven't been communicating, we haven't been intimate and blah blah blah, you know. Then you should have acknowledged that, Dean, and you decided to do what you did and uh and you this is your bed, you lay in it, right? But that's between Dean and Beth. Rio and Dean, there is a, there is a, a, a there, that is not even, they are not square. <laughs> and and if, if there's anybody who would probably be the kill shot to Rio, it would probably be Dean. As much as you probably don't want to hear it, I think if Rio is ever killed, Dean would probably the, be the one who would finally be the one to do it. Because as much as you don't like what Dean did and who Dean is and what Dean does and how Dean talks and the way he chooses food and the way he slurps his soup and he's got a more punchable face than I do, which is hard to do. If I was Dean, Rio would would always, always be in my sights for uh, for for retaliation. Always. And Dean was justified for that revenge. D Dean is justified, in my opinion. Now, what you know, you might even like I said, you might not like what he did, but again, he did that to Beth. If Beth pulled the trigger, now you're like, oh, okay, that's some drama. <laughs> but but Rio doing it, no. Rio, no. Dean might be the thing that ends uh Rio. That's just what I see. That's how I see about it. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Like I said, um, I'm gonna re I'm gonna post this again up on my YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on YouTube um, at T3 Media's uh, talk. It's called Talking Through the Media's. If uh, if if you like these conversations, every anything um, with good girls, I'll try to deb uh, debut it first right here live with you guys right here in the group, and then we'll probably upload it later in my uh, Facebook group. I talk more about movies and a lot about TV shows. I do TV shows on Thursday, so Thursdays I do what I call the binge. And I uh, or I talk about something that I've binged, which I just I just did. I just got through binging season one and season two of um, of Good Girls, and I can't wait to go down the uh, the the episodes of season three with you guys. So, Will, let's come up with some a time uh, a good time is for everybody to do a recap or a review episode. What days does Good Girls air? Is it on Wednesdays? Is it on Mondays? Is it a Thursday? I hope it's a Thursday show. If that'd be very convenient for a recap um if not we could probably do uh i'll i'll do a live after show probably right after the show airs right here in the facebook group um and we'll and we can just keep talking about these things uh more um maybe i'll pick another character uh, we'll talk about something else let me in the comments below let me know what you, what else you want to discuss and maybe we'll tackle it again we can have some more discussions about uh, other characters, uh, speculations of, of what's going on in the uh, before the show starts, and and just let me know what you guys want to talk about. Until then, uh, until next time, let me see if I got any uh, old man talking about. Thank you. Is it talking about good girls? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, a man talking uh, about good girls. Wow. <laughs> what? What? I'm not allowed. I'm not. Like I said, I, I bet the Beth character. I saw. I talked. Uh, I talked about it before. I said the. Um, I saw her first on Mad Men. Um, and that's why Good Girls was always kind of on the, on the, on the side burner uh, of a show that I was thinking about watching. It was Rebecca, your admin uh, here, uh, who who pushed me over the edge. Um, and if and if you think it's weird for a man to be uh, talking about Good Girls, what does that say about you? Okay, <laughs> but. Uh, if any of you, here's another thing. If any of you guys uh, want to join me on this, let me know, and I'll I'll open up the uh, the link and we'll talk about it. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for back on Sundays, on Sundays. So um, I'm trying to get I'm trying to convince Rebecca to do that. So let's uh, let's get it to we can do a side by side and we can have a good girls panel. Thing. I don't have to be in, uh, the lead of it. I can be sitting all the way to the far left or the far right of the table and just let everybody else who knows more about the show uh, than I do uh, discuss it. But I would love to be a part of that table. So let me know if you guys uh, want to do that. Uh, we need your uh, your point of view. 
on on Rio. Uh, Joy hasn't watched the show. I don't know if she will. <laughs> she, she doesn't. She doesn't show having. I said she hasn't had any interest on it. Um, and I will not be introducing her, forcing the show on her because I, I don't know what kind of magic spell Rio has on people that I'm not trying to find out. So access denied. Uh, but if she does, then yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll probably sit here together on it. But any of you guys, if you guys want to join me on this, if you got a webcam, you got a, um, you don't even have to, you need to have a microphone like this, even headphones and one of the little microphones, plug it into your laptop, you got a, a good camera, then we can uh, we, I, I can have you on a side by side split screen right here on this uh, on this very uh, feed. So it's not hard at all. So just let me know, and, and if you want to talk with me, I'll send you the link. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Until next time, hey, um, let's keep talking. Like I said, if you haven't become a subscriber to my channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. Where I talk a lot about a little, a little about a lot of things, but I will be continuing the conversation about good girls right here in the group. And, uh, and and we'll just keep that going and, and when, it, when we decide to just keep it going. So let me know what you guys want to talk about and I will do my best to be a part of it. Until then, hey, thanks. <laughs>